and firstly, it's exactly one year since the first upload I did as Game Hut. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed and watched the videos during that time. It's been a really fun process. I think we're at pretty much 88,000 subscribers now and over five and a half million views. Unbelievable, thank you so much. Um, this video, I thought I'd go back to the very first video I made on this channel, which was about a game called Haven Call of the King, which was set to star the TT logo character in the, uh, in the game. And in the end, we changed that character. And so I thought, what better way of celebrating one year later than to take a look at the original Traveller's Tales logo painting that was painted by Rodney Matthews. So let's have a look. Okay, so here's the back of the painting. You can see the corner here looks a little water damaged but uh, it's only on the outside, it doesn't affect what's within. So let's take it apart. So this is the next layer down. You can see the back of the canvas here. Um, again, bit of damage on the taping. And if you look closely, there's these little pins that I need to take out. So if I take out all the pins, I'll be able to lift out the painting. So here we go. This has not been out for a very long time. And there we go, let's, uh, let's get it put down on the table. Okay, so here we have it. This is the original painting. It's not very big at all. It's probably about, I don't know, 14 inches tall, maybe. Um, but the detail in it is absolutely incredible. Here's uh, the signature of Rodney Matthews. Now he did all this, or a lot of this in pen and ink. I think all of it in pen and ink. I think that's the way he does his paintings. Um, so if we look in here, if we zoom in, just look at the detail on this. You can see right in here, the little tiny strokes with his pen to do this detail. Um, you can see they're around the eye and under the chin, the tiny, tiny little, I mean, the, the detail work that Rodney Matthews does is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you can see here all the colors around the ears and the little hairs um, all the way around. Now he may well have painted the moon first and then done pe pen and ink over the top. I'm not quite sure of his process and how much he mixes uh, the different media together. The colors on this are so much better represented than you ever see in any of the print or anything else. It's amazing to see the, uh, the actual original painting. And I actually bought this when we commissioned him. I commissioned this painting. I bumped into him. He was signing paintings at a Christian rock concert of all places. And I got talking to him and said we needed a logo. And, and I, I was a huge fan of his work. Oh, just look at the detail there on that TT logo and, and around the edges here. It's just amazing work. And he said he'd do it, so, uh, so that's, that's when it started and, and I had some ideas of what, what it could be. Here's my thumb, by the way, as a sense of scale. You can see it's just the amount of detail that he gets in something smaller than my thumb. Just amazing. Um, so he agreed to paint, do the painting um, and we commissioned him, paid him to do the painting and then I paid extra to be able to own the original and I've had it ever since. And we obviously scanned the original and used that for our, our logo. Uh, so you can, again, all this great detail around the letters and all the... Uh, I loved this style. I mean, it's, it's more dated now. Um, in the 80s, an awful lot of rock albums and things like that would have had this style of lettering and, and detail. But you don't see it so much now. It'll po probably come around in fashion again. Oh, sorry, it's a bit out of focus. There you go, that's better. I've put a quarter at the edge there so you can just see the... The scale to a quarter and then interesting if you tilt like this you can see the different kind of colors and mix uh, mediums sort of you can see there the black kind of shines differently to the other the other stuff so you can just see the way he's layered this up and made made the painting on this original canvas you know the, the backpack looks <laughs> very different it looked almost purple at that angle Uh, so, so there we have it. You know, it's a very quick look at uh, the TT logo. There's the word Traveller's Tales. One of the reasons we changed to the TT logo that is more common now, as you can see at speed, as we move, it's really, really hard to read that logo. So if we used it as advertising on the side of a, a race car or something like that, you just couldn't read our logo at all, which is one of the reasons we went to the simplified TT. But I still have a soft spot for this character, obviously. Uh, so, so there you have it. That's a quick look at the original painting done by Rodney Matthews of the TT logo. Once again, thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for the support of this channel. And here's to another year ahead. Thanks again. Goodbye.